A few words about why I'm doing this film. First of all, I've known Jimmy Heath since 1978. He's been a friend. And I remember when we first met, I was writing for Downbeat Magazine at the time. The Heath Brothers, which at that time included Percy and Jimmy, had just released Passing Through on Columbia Records. Columbia Records no longer exists, and that LP has never made it to CD or digital. It was a really nice recording. I was living on the Upper West Side of Manhattan at the time, Penthouse 2, 210 West 101st Street, New York, New York, 10025. I had a great phone number then, too. 212-222-1950. The Heath brothers were en route to my apartment. While I was waiting, I put on Duke Ellington Live at Newport, 1956, Paul Gonzalez's 27 chorus solo that drove everyone wild. As the 26th chorus moved into the 27th, there was a knock on the door. It was Jimmy and Percy. I'd seen them, but I never met them. They walked in. Immediately, they got into the music, of course. They were like moving, jumping, grooving. It was a fantastic experience to enjoy that with them. We bonded immediately. I became friends with Jimmy and Percy. Percy, I didn't spend that much time with, sadly. He's no longer with us. Jimmy, I've hung out with over the years. We've been to Mets games and, oh, he was out here in January to play with the Tucson Jazz Institute Ellington Band to open up the Tucson Jazz Festival. Something happened at that concert. Something that speaks to the nature of creativity and spirituality and sharing. Something that happens when jazz musicians play together. Before the jazz education system that's in place now happened, 40, 50 years ago, when young musicians could play, worked on their instruments to the point where they could play music and perhaps develop their own voice, they'd study at the Jazz Messengers University with Art Blakey, or maybe Horace Silver's group, Cannonball Adderley, there were a number of working groups, young musicians were brought in. The older ones school, the younger ones. What happened with Jimmy and the high school kids was the same thing. When I heard that Jimmy was coming back to record with these high school kids under the leadership of their very dedicated director, Doug Tidebeck, a light bulb went off. I'm going to shoot this. I'm going to make a movie about this because that interaction, that moment, when a young student learns and gets it. Beautiful thing. Hope to capture some of that. Also, Jimmy Heath turns 90 in October. There was a great movie about the Heath brothers about 20 years ago, and Jimmy also has written his own autobiography. But I want to share some of the Jimmy Heath I know, and Jimmy's wife, Mona, as well. So that's why I want to make this film. Thank you for joining me in this journey.